Hey guys, it's Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So and today we're doing a seafood boil. Hey guys, we're gonna be eating king crab. This joint is big, huge. We got some shrimp, we got some corn, we got some mussels, we got some baby potatoes, and we got some eggs today. We also, for the sauce, we have that beloved sauce. Still hot, fresh off the pot. And you know, we really don't have a topic today. We're just gonna be talking and eating. If you with me, then you with me. Let's start off with some shrimp. I do want to thank the people who have been subscribing and commenting and liking. And if you didn't subscribe, what you waiting for? Let's get this thing popping. How's everybody day? What are everybody doing? What you been up to? Have you started Christmas shopping? I have. Then I stopped. I just got to start up again. There's a little corn up in there. How everybody day going? Today was a good day for me. I actually slept in. Normally I don't sleep in. I slept in today. It felt good. This beloved sauce is hitting. I got it off of uh, Amazon. Go ahead and get a clam in there. Is everybody ready for Black Friday? What y'all trying to get? Got an egg over here. Let's get that in some sauce. Try with this king crab. Let's bust this joint open real quick. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yep. Look at that meat. Yeah, boy. Let's dip that in some sauce. Mm. 
my god this ain't a bad joint That's a big piece of meat right there. Oh, that's just like the uh, biggest king crab I had so far. I'm going to make sure you get all it. No meat left behind. All right, so comment down below. What's the craziest story your mom ever told you as a kid growing up? Like, what's the weirdest thing? Like, I was telling my kids today a story that I wanted to tell us. My mom used to tell us, um, <clears throat> my mom used to say when we were sleeping in the middle of the night, aliens used to come and take her, put her on a UFO and make sure that she was all right. Like they used to, that's what they used to do. Just come and get her in the middle of the night and make sure she was good. When I first heard the story, I was scared straight. Like I, I was scared to go to sleep because if they coming to get you, they're gonna come get me. I'm your daughter. That's what I thought. So I'm thinking as long as I stay up, ain't nobody coming to get me. And there was no reason for me not to believe her. I mean, there was no signs of mental illness. She was lucid. She was good. Do I believe it to this day? Look at this. Look at this big piece of meat. Some fine meat right there. Look at that. Yeah, boy. It's the type of meat that you go. Mango, mango, mango. Did I believe her? Yeah, I did, it's my mom. That's my mom and I'm standing beside her. Do I still believe it to this day? Why not? Somebody give me a reason not to. My mom said it was USO, UFO who came and picked her up in the middle of the night, make sure she was good. A UFO came and picked her up in the middle of the night, make sure she was good. And that's that. But I, I think about it now and it's like, what's the craziest thing your mom ever told you? The aliens come get her. Clowns, it could have been clowns. Somebody. I just pray they never came and got me. Cause uh, Aliens come get me in the middle of the night. I'm done. I'm going to die from shock. You know, coming back from that. Look at that. I feel like there's a lot of food that I got. And these big pieces of meat right here. King crab. It's huge. Let's 
que son los... Potatoes in there. I forget about the potatoes. What's everybody plans for Thanksgiving? Comment down below what's your plans. What you cooking? I'm a vlog on that day. Look at that. right there let's get that off bend down okay. and drop guys Comment down below if this your type of weather. It's been freezing lately. Like, too cold. My heat on 80. When I get off work, I need to walk into it and just feel the heat. I don't like that. I just don't like being outside in the cold. If I'm in a house, like, I can't sleep in the heat. But I can't be out in the cold in the cold. Like, they're doing the beauty. You understand, you understand. You get it, you get it. I'm going to get it. But this is definitely my year. I mean, like, this is definitely my season. I just don't like the cold that comes with it. That was a perfect run like that, John. What? What's your favorite meal for Thanksgiving? Mine's is obviously macaroni and cheese. But you gotta have the macaroni and cheese. Like you just can't eat macaroni and cheese. You gotta macaroni and cheese, sweet potatoes then mouth if you just put a macaroni and cheese in your mouth you're a rookie and you don't deserve to be eating it comment down below if you put both macaroni and cheese and sweet potatoes on a fork together 50 likes 50 likes i do the hot chip challenge i mean i ain't gonna fold but just do 50 likes I do the hot chip challenge. I just seen it at a five below too. Sitting there, looking at me. I walk right past him though. Like not today, not today, son. Not today, son. Man, I don't think I can finish this. King Cry filling me up. It's a big piece of meat. Well, this King Cry really took me out. I I never really got full off of crab, but this right here.
a different type of meat. Different type of meat. Thanks for watching. Peace.